What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel, the best place for online entrepreneurs. Now in today's video, I really want to go over some of the worst Facebook Messenger chatbot marketing advice that I've come across on the internet or YouTube or in general. And I thought that this video would be interesting to make considering that there's so much information online about what you should do with a Facebook Messenger chatbot or what you should not do with a Facebook Messenger chatbot. Now, obviously at the end of the day, it's your decision on whose advice you want to listen to. But I figured this video would be perfect for those of you who want to know what I think about some of these strategies that are being thrown around online. Because as some of you guys know, I run a Facebook Messenger bot marketing agency called Chris Media, and this is what I do day in and day out. But before we go on, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now. All right, let's dive right into what I think is really bad Facebook Messenger chatbot marketing advice. So let's get started. I'm going to start with an obvious piece of bad advice, and that is let's not make it easy for people to unsubscribe from our Messenger chatbot. Whenever I hear this advice or see this advice online, I just want to tear my hair out. People are so afraid of their subscribers unsubscribing, whether that's on Facebook Messenger chatbot or, you know, their email marketing. And because Facebook Messenger bot marketing is relatively new, a lot of people don't actually know how to unsubscribe from your chatbot if they just want to stop receiving messages from you. So if you're using a Facebook Messenger chatbot, you need to make it really clear how to unsubscribe. So have a button at the end of your message that says unsubscribe or a text that says, hey, if you want to unsubscribe from my chatbot or unsubscribe from receiving messages from me, you just got to type stop or unsubscribe to unsubscribe. And there are so many reasons why you want to make it easy for someone to leave your list if they just don't want to be on it anymore. For one, why do you want people who don't want to hear from you anymore to hang around? right? Why do you want them around? You're paying for each subscriber on your list, right? You're paying for each person that's on your list. So if you think about it, you're paying for each person who doesn't want to hear from you anymore. And the second reason why you should make it easy for people to unsubscribe is because Facebook is extremely cautious and concerned about their user's experience. They can and will not hesitate to remove the ability to message your subscribers if they notice that a lot of them are starting to block you. Right? And pretty much the only reason why people would block messages from you is because you are not making it easy for them to unsubscribe from your chatbot. And the third reason why you should make it easy for people to unsubscribe is because Facebook Messenger bot marketing has changed significantly over the past few months. Now, if you haven't already checked out some of my past episodes on these changes, let me quickly recap some of these changes. Now, the biggest change about Facebook Messenger chatbot marketing is the plus one message that we could send after the first 24 hours of interaction is no longer available. Facebook has removed that option. So in the past, having a big list could be beneficial because you could send out that plus one message as a bonus message to re-interact and re-engage your list after the first 24 hours. And now that the plus one message is gone, we have to ask ourselves, why is it still important to have a big messenger list? Is it for vanity reasons? Now, a little caveat here. Of course, you can run sponsored messages, which are paid messages, or export their PSID and then run Facebook ads to target them. But those reasons are not strong enough reasons to make it difficult for someone to unsubscribe from your list only because you want to have a big list. So bad advice number one, make it difficult for someone to unsubscribe. Oh my God, please do not listen to this advice. Now the second piece of bad advice about Facebook Messenger bot marketing is once you've got a Facebook Messenger chatbot, you no longer need a human to come in. So no more humans to manage conversations or answer questions once you have a Facebook Messenger chatbot. Now using a Facebook Messenger chatbot is a great way to automate tasks and answer you know, customer support questions. But that does not mean that once you have a Messenger chatbot, it's automation all the way. In my opinion, the best Facebook Messenger bot marketing strategy involves both automation and a human touch. So a Messenger chatbot can provide instant fast response to customers who need help at a certain point. It can help you to automate some of the tasks that you've been doing so that it frees up your time. And a human support can come in to provide that extra support when a question gets too complicated for the bot to answer or when a human touch is just needed, right? So when I look at how a Facebook Messenger chatbot sits in the overall marketing strategy, I see them play a complementary role and remove the mundane tasks to allow us to do you know, more productive work. So things like answering FAQs, qualifying leads, um, providing lead magnet, etc. 
And this is also why you should not try to hide the fact that you're using a chatbot, right? Don't try to pretend that this chatbot is a human being. Don't try to blur the lines. I think the fact is it's so obvious when you're interacting with a chatbot versus a human being and trying to pretend that this is a human being is just gonna backfire, guys. So don't ever try to hide that this is a chatbot and make it super clear that they're speaking to a chatbot. Now, the third bad advice that I see about Facebook Messenger chatbot marketing is to use it as a tool to inform your subscribers about your latest launches and promotions and content. That is super bad advice, guys. Now, obviously, you can use Facebook Messenger bot marketing to increase your sales and increase consumption of your content, but you should not be doing it in a way that a lot of marketers are doing it. Because what I see right now with a lot of people who are using Facebook Messenger bot marketing to promote their content, to promote their launches, is they're sending out broadcast messages to their subscribers without keeping in mind the Facebook's rule of 24 hours. That is the wrong way of using Facebook Messenger bot marketing. That is spamming. And I don't want you guys to be spammers, guys. And that's why you're watching this video. So you do not want to treat your Messenger subscriber list like an email list. Email marketing is like snail mail. You get away with sending out emails once a week or even once a day. With Messenger bot marketing, it's like ringing a doorbell or sending a text message, right? It gets super irritating when you're receiving multiple messages all the time. Basically, if you don't follow the guidelines or you overdo it, you scare people away. And back to the plus one change that I was telling you about, Facebook is making it even more impossible for you to treat it like email marketing, for you to send out broadcast messages about your promotions and your launches and your content. Of course, there's ways around it. There's sponsored messages, which means you can pay to send out a broadcast message about your promotion, your launch, or your content, but it doesn't mean that you should be abusing sponsored messages and sending it out like candies. Now, so far in this video, we talked a lot about the bad advice. Now, if you wanna tap into the good advice or at least the advice and strategies that I teach about marketing and online business, then you wanna be sure to hit the subscribe button and also hit the notify me button so that you get notified when my next video comes out. I also have a free checklist for the things that a good Facebook Messenger chatbot should have. So go ahead and download it in the link in the description below. In the meantime, while you wait for my next video next week, make sure you also check out this video right here. I talk a lot about marketing, online business, and Facebook Messenger bot marketing. So again, don't forget to check out these videos as well. As always, guys, I appreciate you. Don't forget to leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about today's video. I hope you have a good day, a good week, and see you in the next video.